with, uh, with my USB stick that was prepared in uh, part one um, that's shown as SDB1 and SDB, SDB and I've also attached the external hard drive that I'll be using uh, to install the uh, Xenial PUP in, uh, so indicated by SDC so the first thing we'll have to do is we'll have to uh, uh, wipe out the uh, STC uh, hard drive so we'll go ahead and uh, do that with a uh, uh, system and then we'll get into G parted and this is the USB uh, SDC drive which is the external hard drive and we'll go ahead and uh, get into it and uh, it has so what we'll have to do is we'll just delete uh, we'll uh, put it into a create new partition table and then we'll uh, go to MS-DOS as before so the step is actually very similar to how I prepared the uh, USB installation stick and that's the one advantage of using this method so we'll go ahead and do that and then we'll as as uh, before when we were preparing the USB stick we're gonna use the same technique so the the boot sector uh, needs to be uh, only uh, 300 and we'll make it uh, FAT32 and we'll put a boot uh, label there and then we'll go ahead and add and then uh, we'll go ahead and uh, so this uh, sector is going to be mainly for the uh, operating system and data and so on. So I'm going to leave the space for a uh, swap file which we want it to be uh, around 2 gig. So, uh, so this uh, is good enough. And then what we, this uh, needs to be ext4. So we'll go ahead and do that. And then now uh, we'll go ahead and likewise we'll make this a swap Linux swap, okay. And now we'll go ahead and apply this uh, to the uh, new, uh, new hard drive uh, that we're going to be booting from. So we'll go ahead and let it do its uh, thing. It should uh, take only about a minute or so. And uh, so this is good. Now, very important, uh, next step is to make sure that this has a boot flag. So, uh, partition one on the hard drive needs to have a manage flags and uh, we'll go ahead and put a, a tick on a boot. Okay. So now, like before, what we need to do is copy files, operating system files into SDC2. So we'll go ahead and open this up. And then USB stick also has the SD, SDB2. So these are the files I need uh, in the hard drive. So simply uh, what we can do is I can just copy these. What the, these are files that's in the USB stick and we're just going to uh, copy this over here to the uh, hard drive. So we'll go ahead and... Uh, uh, wait a couple minutes, a couple, uh, about a minute or so. So just like before when we are preparing the USB uh, installation disk, we will have to go ahead and uh, start the Gruff DOS uh, to uh, properly configure boot a partition of the hard drive, which is uh, uh, SDC1. So now we can go ahead and de uh, de close this and then we'll go ahead and launch the system again. This time we're going to go for Grub for DOS bootloader. Okay. So we'll go ahead and click that. And we want a, a hard drive a sector that we need to uh, put the, uh, is SDC1. Uh, we want a SDC, we want it to search, but it's going to search 
the operating system in SCC2, which is the hard drive. So we're going to only uh, limit the search into SDC2, SDC. So we'll go ahead and do that. And it should find only uh, Xenio Pub that's installed here, which is already done. So we just go ahead and do that. Okay. Confirm that we want the uh, SDC. So the boot uh, information is going to be put in SDC1. So we'll so I go ahead and OK. You notice that it mounted SDC1 so you can put in uh, the file, needed files. Now at this point we want to edit the uh, uh, menu list in SDC1 because this is going to be our permanent boot uh, uh, disk. So we'll go ahead and so usually what I do at this point is to uh, um, time out is usually 10 seconds so but since we only have one one uh, operating system you can um, this can be much uh, shorter uh, like a zero but for if you uh, ever want to put in another operating system you want to make it maybe two or three seconds but we'll go ahead and put in a uh, two seconds let's say and then since we don't have any boot a uh, sec uh, window a at all we can just go simply just uh, uh, eliminate it altogether okay so now the uh, the, the the another uh, step that we can uh, modify is that uh, right now is M Media is states that it's a USB flash. This is not a USB disk. Uh, I think it probably still work, but uh, we'll go ahead and make this a ATA ATA HD. So it just uh, simply uh, tells the. Uh, a bootloader that this is going to be a, a, a external hard drive so uh, external hard drive and I think that's uh, all is needed so we'll go ahead and save that so now the bootloader in SDC1 is properly configured now after you modify the uh, uh, menu list uh, uh, file on SDC1 uh, what you need to do is close down and shut uh, shut down the uh, uh, computer uh, and then uh, pull uh, remove the uh, installation SDB and and then reboot into a SDC uh, external hard, hard drive using the external hard drive so you need to either modify BIOS uh, on your computer so you will uh, look for this uh, a bootable disk or uh, sometimes in Dell computers you can use F12 uh, as it's uh, starting to boot uh, to get into the temporary uh, uh, bootable device uh, uh, selection so uh, but when you uh, f try to close down this Xenio uh, Pub USB disk now, it's going to ask you if you want you want to save uh, a, f a file or save folder. You make the save file, save folder. You just say no. You don't need it. So I think that's uh, they should uh, complete the uh, part two.